All right, today I have a 2011 Ford Escape with a 2.5 liter four cylinder, and it has the code TO456, which is small evap leak. So on these here, it's very common for this, for this purge valve to be bad. To test this purge valve, the easiest way to test this purge valve is if you need a vacuum gauge or you can use your finger. So what you do is you, you squeeze the two little white tabs with the car running and you pull this off. So you hear that noise and you put your finger on it and it'll suck your finger in showing that it has vacuum on it. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to go ahead and hook up my vacuum gauge. As you see right now, we almost have, you know, 19 inches of vacuum on there. Now when you come over here to the electrical connection, if you unplug the electrical connection, you should have no vacuum on. Let me get the plug unplugged. I pull this off. If you put your finger on it, it still has vacuum on it. So I'll go ahead and put it back in here. As you see, it doesn't have as much vacuum. It's now down to 18 inches of vacuum. This valve is bad, causing that boom. When you unplug this, you should not have any vacuum on this at all. So on these cars, it has this plastic type of purge valve to the evaporative system. This is where I always start. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I would start here, and if this isn't it, then I'm, if that wouldn't have been it, I would have gone ahead and smoked it to see if there was a leak someplace else. But we are definitely going to start here because I know for a fact that this is bad. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. All right, I know I thought that was going to be the end of the video, but I went ahead and got the new valve installed. So I could show you the new valve installed. I get the wire connection. You can hear it. It's pulsing like it should. Let me get my vacuum gauge hooked up here. And as you, I put my lens back on. You can see it's reading about 18 now. So let's pull that out. Let's disconnect this. No more noise. It's, it's not sucking my finger. Let's put the vacuum line back in and my gauge is reading zero. So that obviously was bad, and we have taken care of the problem. All right, everybody, thanks a lot. Oh, and here's another thing too. When you first start the car up, sometimes this doesn't pulse for 30 seconds or so. So you have to let the car start up and warm up a little bit before it starts pulsing. All right, thanks for watching.